All Powers sent me the R600 portable power station and the 100 watt solar panel. First, let's have a look at the power station. So in the box, you find your warranty card in this nice little envelope, the user manual and the AC cord. They even got their own custom zip bag thing. I really get the feeling that there's really nothing generic about All Powers. They have their own thing going on, right? Looking at the power station, this is the European version. Two AC inputs. 220 to 240 volts at 600 watts with a 1200 watt peak in the inverter. There's two USB-C inputs at 100 watts each for the power delivery and two USB inputs. Let's turn it on. Seventy percent. Okay, you got your light, brighter light, SOS, twelve volt receptacle. This way looks kind of nice. On the right side, you got your power inputs, AC charging, solar or car. Pretty beefy MPPT inside of this thing with a 12 to 60 volt at 8.8 .8 amps maximum solar input. Overload protection, XT60 and your AC input. It's also got a, a wireless charging at the top with a 15 watt output and the R600 is compatible with the All Powers mobile app and to connect it as I understand it you have to hold the DC button for three seconds and there should be a Bluetooth logo appearing at the display let's see there we go I've already installed the app and as you can see it provides some information you're able to turn inverter and loads on or off lights on or off and there's also some power saving options to set your set some timing and stuff like that that's nice let's give it a charge There's a slight hum when charging. The battery chemistry is lithium iron phosphate, fully charged at 25.6 volts, so a 24 volt configuration with 11.68 amp hours, which gives us 299 watt hours. So it should charge relatively quickly. I have to confess, I tried to charge it as soon as I got it and we managed to charge at about 300 watts from the AC input. As you're getting closer to 100%, the wattage goes down. So it's fully charged. Now, if we hit the inverter on button, you can see it enters UPS mode right there. So as we turn the light on. So basically it's pulling power from the grid right now. If we turn the grid power off, the inverter should kick in in 10 milliseconds. Let's see what happens. 
nothing happened. Which is a good thing, I guess. Turn it back on. And it's in UPS again. There is a warning not to connect too many devices while in UPS mode because of the possible surge that might happen if the power goes out and the unit needs to function above its rated capacity. So that's working. Now let's test the inverter output with a 600 watt coffee maker. I do need my morning coffee, even if the grid is down. And personal preference, the coffee maker makes the best cup of coffee. So let's test it out, 600 watts. And the inverter kicks in, there you go. And we are brewing coffee. So my coffee is done, no problem. Now let's try to overload the power station using a heat gun. This is an 1800 watt heat gun. So at the next level, it should turn itself off. Let's see. It's working. Let's turn it back on. Try it again. Just the fan. First level. And overloading. So it's working. Showing the error code. And the error code is gone. That's a pass. Now let's have a look at the solar panel. A nice little pocket. It's really quality material. Everything looks nice, feels rigid. This will be the DMC4 connectors to an XT60, which we're going to use on the power station. MC4 to, to DC mail to work with your adapters, user manual. So I guess your standard 100 watt solar panel specifications weighs around 3.6 kilograms. Let's take it outside. We're lucky today, got some sun in Norway. Got some shading from tree. But we do have it hooked up. I'm getting about 14 watts at the moment. If you move it slightly more into the sun. So now there's no shading. We get about 20 watts. Oh, it's December in Norway. Sun is low. Anyway, it's charging, no problem. So all in all, I think this portable power station and the solar panel is working as advertised. Great for camping, small cabins, RVs or emergency power supplies, as well as a functional UPS system. I'll leave an affiliate link in the description if you want to check the unit out for yourself. Until next time.